There are all these security systems in cars that sound amazing on paper, but let's talk about one that actually matters. The Toyota Engine Immobilizer Anti-Theft System. You know the one I mean, your key fob, a little chip, and suddenly not everyone can just hop in and drive off. Here's how it basically works. There's a special microchip inside your key, and your car's computer is basically playing 20 questions with your key before it lets you start the engine. If the key can't answer right, the party's over. It's pretty effective stuff. Toyota claims that vehicles equipped with engine immobilizers see up to 90% fewer thefts compared to cars without them. That's a lot of would-be car thieves left sighing and walking away. You can't hotwire a modern Camry anymore. A pain point here, and this will hit home if you've lived it, is losing your keys, because replacement isn't cheap. Without the chip, a key is just a very shiny stick. You're shelling out $150 to $400, easy at the dealership. People sometimes ask if you can just bypass it yourself if you're locked out. Short answer, you can't. At least not without equipment and skills that would make you a professional car thief. The whole point is that it's not supposed to be easy. One cool pro tip, not a lot of folks know this. If you have two master keys, you can actually program a third one yourself without needing a trip to the dealer. Save that money for something way more fun than key programming, trust me. But if you lose all your master keys, that's when the pain really starts. It could mean replacing the entire ECU, the car's main computer, which soars up to $1,000 or more when all is said and done. I'd rather spend that on a summer rafting trip near Portland. The system itself is nearly invisible. There's no blinking neon light that says immobilizer working. Sometimes the only clue is a little key-shaped icon that flashes on your dash. If that light stays on when trying to start, it's probably not reading your key right. Here's the thing most people miss. The immobilizer doesn't stop someone from breaking into your car. They'll still get in if they want your radio that badly, but it prevents them from driving it away, which seems like the more important part, honestly. People sometimes complain that their Toyota suddenly won't start, and it's always when you're running late to something important. Nine times out of ten, it's the immobilizer being picky about the key or the chip has gone bad. Not a great feeling. For peace of mind, stash a spare, programmed key at home. It's the single fastest way to avoid a nightmare towing and a wallet-crushing bill. This is honestly one of those $150 now saves you $1,000 later kind of deals. If you're tempted to buy a cheap key off eBay, remember, most of them can't be programmed if you don't have a master key already. That's how people end up with a useless key-shaped paperweight. Some lessons you definitely don't want to learn the hard way. So yeah, Toyota's engine immobilizer isn't just tech fluff. It's why hundreds of thousands of Toyotas are right where their owners left them. Not perfect, but in the world of theft deterrence, it's one of those systems that quietly, stubbornly works.